Life goes on elsewhere with Leeds on Saturday. Yeah, big game. It's a big game in terms of, well, everything in the garden seems rosy. You know, the fact we lost to Huddersfield leaves us six points off the bottom three. Mind you, we're still looking at the, a playoff place, so it's important that we win the next two games going into the Liverpool game. Everyone's looking forward to Liverpool, but the, the players' focus must be on the next two games. Um, we're home to Leeds. Home advantage is obviously important, but they've got a good manager in there now who knows the club inside out, um, and that'll be dangerous. What do, you, what do you make of them? What do you think they'll bring to the Macron on Saturday? Well, I mean, they're a huge club. What they will bring is a huge support as well, so the atmosphere should be red hot. I think um, we're in a bit of a transitional period at the minute. Um, I'm not going to go on about the owner because that's Leeds' prerogative. I think they've got the right man in there. He knows the club and the players inside out. Um, I think he will make Leeds better. Yeah. So we have to be mindful of that. We've got a great cup to look forward to, but in the meantime, we've got two very, very big games in, in Leeds and Sheffield Wednesday. We're at home, so we will have the home advantage and we have to maximise that. How is Matt Mills looking? He should be fit. Um, he just had a little bit of an ankle problem. We're hoping he'll, he'll train today. And if he comes through that OK, then he'll obviously be in contention to start. Any other issues? Rob Hall is out for a week or two. He's got a, a ligament problem in the ankle, but we're hoping he'll be fit a um, week to 10 days. McNaughton, he played 90, so he's fit. Um, he needed the game, hadn't played for a while. Um, so he'll come back into contention with the squad as well. So it's basically just the uh, long-term injuries and obviously Rob. And, and just a word on that cup tie. I know it's not at the forefront of your mind at the moment, but you must be relishing the chance to, to go to Anfield and Brendan Rodgers' side. I know Brendan well, and um, he's done a fantastic job. Well, brilliant job at Liverpool. Really pleased for him. Um, it's a great tie, you know, it's a great tie for for the club and the supporters and one that we will go and, and really compete in. And obviously talk about new deals there, Zach Clough's line one this week after how good he was last Saturday. I think the club moved very quickly on that <laughs> one. But no, I think it was in the pipeline for a while. Um, so obviously after the weekend, uh, it's great that he's signed on a, a longer term deal. Uh, he's a talent. Obviously we have to manage that talent the right way. He's had a lot of plaudits this week. It's been a bit of a whirlwind for him, but he's such a level-headed kid, um, and we're hoping that he'll take it all in the stride. It's interesting. You see all the young lads with the yellow boots and the, the, the orange boots, and Zach just comes out with a pair of black and white ones. So, <laughs> you know, he's just an old-fashioned kid that way. And um, as I said at the weekend, it was one of the best debuts I've seen in a long time. So he has given us a huge shot in the arm. And Andy Lonigan played the month nominee, well, well deserved as well. I think so. Yeah. I think we're blessed, we've got two superb goalkeepers. You know, Adam came in, he needed a game, did brilliantly, but Lonners has been fantastic and um you know, he quite rightly he's um in cont I think he's one of the best goalies in the championship, as I think Adam was as well. It's been really sort of another clean sheet of the weekend, so so it's real solid since you've come in. I know you said when you watched the the, the first game you watched is the Fulham game, obviously conceded before, you've been surprised how Sort of quickly managed to turn that into a solid leader. Well, it's not me that's turned it around. You know, Johan does a lot of work with him. You know, that's his sort of forte. But um, it's the players themselves. We've got good players here. You know, Vela has come in and done very well at right back. And then with the likes of Reem, uh, David, Mills, they've been excellent. And and Weider comes in in the absence of Mills and seamless. So uh, you know, they're good pros. So we feel we've inherited a you know good bunch of players and. Um, they're starting to play to their their level now.